Well, hello Virgos. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I am here to do your August 2020 read. Virgos, how are you guys doing? How are you doing Virgos? You guys are like tired. You're, you're almost at a breaking point. You're like really stressing out. You're, you're going to have to calm down. <laughs> And you want to know the reason why I know because I'm a Virgo, okay? I haven't said that on anybody else to read except for this one. So I already know what you guys are feeling. So because I am, I'm going to actually do a Moonology card with, with, with uh, you guys too. Um, just because, because you guys are stressing a little bit too much. So I've already pre-shuffled the deck. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my first card. <clears throat> Here, let me go ahead and do that. So it's going to be six cards all together. Let me see what information I can get out of you, Virgos. You, yeah, see, this is mental conflict. Okay, whatever this is that you guys are feeling, you're going to have to get off. You're going to have to get out of this mindset here. Okay, this is very much so a, you know, battle between your heart and your mind. Okay. I'm thinking that there is a part of you that believes that the person that you're interested in is what I'm getting, may be seeing someone else. And that is a sense of competition for you. I do feel that you're kind of like, I'm over it. If I see it, I'm done. So let's go ahead and get your other two row of cards here. Oh yeah. Okay. So this came out last. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm sensing here. So yeah, you're definitely in this energy of needing justice. Okay, so we're going to find out what this justice card is. At the bottom of the deck here, I have the 10 of cups. You want, you want a stable environment. You want a family. You want your perfect, I mean, and when we say perfect, we're saying Virgo perfect, okay? <laughs> you want your perfect spouse. You want... You know, you want to be stable financially. You want those things. And here with this Ten of Cups, it, it it looks like that's just something that could be definitely on the way here that we see with this Ace of Wands. So I'm only saying could because we need to figure out what's going on with the rest of the cards. But Virgos, I've been seeing that coming for you for a while and it's been it's been a while. Okay, it's been a while. I'm going to be honest. So let's go ahead and get <clears throat> your last three cards. Okay, Virgos, you guys are not trying to talk. So that means that you're feeling a little a little irritated. <laughs> oh, it came out. Ooh. Okay, let's get the last card, Virgo. All right. Okay, got the bottom of the deck, six of pentacles. So, okay, before we go into there, let's go ahead and get on. This was the second one. This was the third one. Let's go ahead and get these all straightened out. All right. Oh, Virgo, you're not the only one that's conflicted here. You guys are not the only one that's in the battle. Okay. So what I'm seeing here that someone had been resisting a, a connection, it seems like. <clears throat> um, this person isn't around and I'm not really sure when I'm, I'm going to clarify that because it's a million reasons why I think that that five of wands is right above that knight of cups. Um, there has been some type of conflicting energy, very self, almost like self-loathing, um, a, like a, a darkness, you know, shadowy period with this person, um, trying to decide if this is something that they want to do, um, if it's right here, I see that this person may be trying to fix the situation with the justice card here and to come in with a steady, offer of passion and new beginning okay this person um wants to and and i'm this was at the bottom of the deck and i hadn't finished my card so i appreciate the fact that this came out and actually came out in the read because that's happy family it is a completion right and so here it's an investment 
something that you invested in this particular person that's going to pay off for you. So what I'm going to do, and then even here, this is like, you know, you guys receiving things. I know this is mostly like reciprocity, but this is like financial gain. So you guys could be definitely dealing with someone who is financially stable and it's something that they want to give you. Giving you money may not be an issue. Giving you a gift may not be an issue for them. So I see definitely reciprocity here and also a gift or some type of um, financial gain here, Virgos. So I am going to use another different deck. I'm going to use a whole deck to clarify this whole read. So let me go ahead and shuffle a little bit. I do see, definitely see um, some of you Virgos going through some type of court case that you guys have won or will win if you guys are thinking about something like that. Because um, it seems like that could have been weighing very heavy on your mind. I do see some type of karmic justice here with the person that you guys are dealing with also. Definitely. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we got with the five of wands. Ooh. Okay. Look at this. Look at this, Virgo. Look at this. This is, I love, I, I, when I tell you I love to see this, I'm going to put this right here so you guys can see it. Not only a Knight of Cups, but a Knight of Pentacles. This could also have been a reason why this person, because this, this Knight is steady, but it moves very slow. And I mean, I know this is probably one of the worst Knights you could ever really see that comes out, but it's not. I mean, there's other cards that you can see that's really bad, but it takes so long. Okay, it's almost to the, to the point when the person is taking so long here with that five of wands. It's like, do you want it? Like, are you like, do you really, really want it? You know, it's too much conflicting energy here. It makes me uncomfortable. Like, do you really want it? It's that type of energy. I do see regret and disappointment here. Um, and the fact that this is right, this is right between these two nights. I see Virgo, you guys have definitely have more than one option here, but, um, yeah, definitely. I see some type of, you know, regret and disappointment, I, you know, Virgo, I definitely see you being disappointment. Like we get it. Like I get that portion. Right. But this person is feeling disappointment also. So it's almost like this person coming towards you. This is not you, but it's almost like this person coming towards you, um, giving you a steady offer. Like you're kind of sitting on the side, kind of sad, thinking things are not going to work out, thinking things are not going to happen. And you know, well, this is you, Virgo. What am I talking about? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't like to really put this up, uh, up on the readers. Not really. But if we're going to put this in disappointment and kind of feeling like this loss in this sense, this is. So it's like this night is coming in to kind of like cheer you up, right? It's kind of that energy and it's very steady, but you're kind of over there like, mm, I don't think nothing's going to happen, but it will. This is your wish fulfillment. You know, I love with this card <clears throat> right next to the justice card, this person had their, their karmic justice here. <clears throat> excuse me okay this person really has received it maybe you really didn't know what they were doing and how they were feeling this person could have you know played off their feelings greatly in this instance and you just didn't necessarily know what they were thinking and feeling you kind of you were kind of lost in the dark dark kind of lost in the sauce right remember this is at the bottom of the deck so not only did you have the star, right now we see the lover card, the love, lover's card here. This is a great sign. This is true love. So what happened here? Virgo. Let's get let's let's get to it. Let's get to read why this justice, the justice. Let's hope that the justice card spills some tea. Let's let's hope so, at least, so we can get down to business. Oh, yeah.
All right. Bottom of the deck. Page of Wands. Oh, Virgo. Virgo, look at this. <laughs> look at what's going on here. Let's put this here. Virgos, you guys, they miss you and you miss them. But honey, this is the reason why they're coming back. You guys were kind of dealing with someone who's not kind of. You guys were dealing with someone who's very attractive, who's very successful, actually. Have a tendency to be somewhat of a womanizer. Okay, it could be very nice, but a little hasty, a little, I mean, it's not the night, but this is like the older player. It's like, I know I got it, right? I know I'm the shit. <laughs> the very fact that this came out, it's like, oh, here Virgos, you got this type of king missing you. Okay, and look at what they're doing. See, that wand energy represents fire, passion, and actual taking action. So because they miss you, and because there was an injustice that was done, and also there was a karmic uh, justice that this person received, now they want to come back to you. Okay? I did see, like I said, two different people a new and old situation here or two olds, okay? <laughs> definitely a past, but there's two people here. But this person, this is definitely past here, especially with that five of wands and this justice. This is past. I mean, we may see something different at the bottom, but this is past. And this person wants to come in and have a brand new start here at the bottom of the deck. This person may be presented as a king for many reasons. The person is very successful. The person is very attractive. Um, you know, they are, they're not young in the sense where they're in their 20s, but, you know, and, and running around being in and out. So they may be kind of like a recovering player or trying to get over that energy. Here with this page of wands represents some sense of immaturity that they're, they're still getting over, but it also represents freshness, right? A message, something that brings a spark. That's what I see here. All right, Virgos, let's see what we got with this ace of wands. We already know what the wands mean, some type of passion. But I also see this one, you know, I don't, I mean, I'm not saying I don't see sexual stuff here, but it all depends on what comes out. But this is not sexual based. Even though we've seen that king, it's not. It's not. Because that night with that steady offer kind of showed you what they really feel. And also with this knight of cups. But we're going to see. Let's find out. And then someone wants to be reciprocal. Sorry, I don't mean it. I didn't mean to stop. But remember, this was here. Okay. Ooh, that kind of popped out. Okay. All right. Oh, Virgos. Oh, my goodness, Virgos. You are in for a treat. Not only is this kind of like bringing back together. I don't know why my camera is like not adjusting right. This is really getting on my nerves. But anyway. This, this is like balancing everything out. Because see, we already had the justice, which talked about balancing of the scales, right? Um, you know, balancing justice, making something correct or correcting a problem or issue. And yeah, Virgo, twice with the Knight of Cups. So even if there's someone new, this, this person from the past loves you. Look at what we're seeing on a board. We have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the King of Wands, and then the Knight of Cups. Wow. This is the same thing as this, right? A brand new start, a brand new start. It is telling you more than once. It's happening. But this particular, I like the fact that the, that the Fool card comes out. And the reason why I say that is because the roles that this Fool, that the fool has in his hand represents a promise, right? And if you look really closely, I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not. Let me see my camera. It's just not going to be 
Let's see if my camera is going to act right. Oh, yeah. That rose kind of looks like a ring far away. Okay. So it's definitely, they're coming with love, but it's, they're coming with, with, um, a promise here. Oh, yeah. Virgo. Remember I talked about stability there? Stability. That's right. And you know what else this could very well possibly be? Marriage. You guys have been stressing your tail off to a degree where you're not able to sleep at night. You're waking up in the middle of the night. You're worrying. You're stressing. You know how you could be at work or you could be at school. You could be driving and your you, your mind isn't all the way clear. You're going to have to get over that. And I have to tell myself that too for many of your reasons. It doesn't have to be anything that I would love. But for many of reasons, okay, we overthink a lot. And we're going to have to get out of that energy. I know that it's hard to do not to do that because we we deal with organization. We're, we're, we deal with more logical things like it should be this way because and that's the reason what what makes it so hard for us to understand a lot of the times because we're like, well, I did this and this and this. So it should have happened this way. Well, we have to look at things a little bit different because everyone is different. Okay, and it takes time for some people to learn. It takes time for some people to grow spiritually and psychologically, right? So let's go ahead and get this Knight of Cups. This read looks awesome though, right? Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, look at Virgo. You have me, first of all, and I know this is... <laughs> I know that this read could be for like, you know, men, men and women, but Virgo, when you see this, I see men all up in this, this read. So, <laughs> and that could be, that could be a man for anybody, right? Okay. Someone, you guys are exhausted. Okay. You guys are exhausted mentally. And it, it, I mean, and I, this person is tired of fighting it. Remember, we said that with that. We said that in the beginning with the five of wands. This person is tired of fighting this connection, but you're tired of waiting. You're waiting on this person. You're waiting on a person because you may be through with the past, which I see majority of, you know, Virgos are not, but you're, you're waiting on a person. You're waiting on your person Virgo but guess who this really is are you the only one absolutely not because this is here clarifying that knight of cups that used that knight of cups used to be you that knight of cups used to be you but that knight of cups is someone else as we see here someone willing to invest in you oh yeah remember I'm going to get to that part but they're waiting on you and it's almost like this person is waiting on you to come back and say something. And it's like, uh, as if, hell no, I, I put all this effort in it. You think I'm going to come back? No, no, don't wait too long. They're going to have to make a move. And we see they are going to make a move. But I mean, I, but this also could be you going into your hermit mode, kind of disappearing, being very quiet, being very quiet because you're just like... Look like this is getting on my nerves. You were and see, oh, perfect. Right. So let's look at this. This is you. You're the queen of cups. See, I knew it was more so emotion. I was trying to figure, make that out to be you. Cause that, I mean, it's, it was emotional cup. This is you. You see the contrast between the knight and the queen. The queen is way more balanced and stable. And you were dealing with a knight. There could be like possibly some type of difference here, age or color or whatever, whatever. Okay. And you're just like, what's going, what's, what, what is this going to be? Look at, look at her face. Like, really? You know how long I've been waiting for you? 
like don't cut them don't 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 be too sharp with your words when they come back around just just play it off but i know this is how you're feeling look at her face again let it let it let it kind of focus let, let it focus look come on focus look at her face she side she is side eyeing him okay that is what this is Cause look how fast he's coming and it's going to be to a point where you're like okay wait a minute you're a little you're you moving too fast and then like one minute you really didn't really want me and then the next minute now y'all in my face like what's your motive well you see her side eyeing him there you go focus like you really didn't want me at first but now you're in this hasty type of mood like i don't know if i should trust that or not because even with that wands and with this three of wands, I mean, somebody may, he may, this person may not have, he or she may not have been really serious about any type of connection here in the beginning. They may have been kind of like, mm, you know what I mean? But this person sense that you are leaving and it's over and it's hitting them. And it's like, okay, wait a minute. Like this is done, done. And something is happening in this person's life too. Some type of um, battle possibly with work, some type of... Um, argument with family um there's something going on because that five of wands also represents conflict and they're not you know you've been out of their life for so long has caught their sunshine is gone you know you were the only thing that made them feel warm and so it's like what am i going to fall back on i don't have my i don't have my virgo and so they're like no i can't have this and that's why they're on that horse speeding towards your way Ten of Cups. Didn't I say look at this read though, right? Didn't I say that? Okay, I was just... Just saying. Okay, that like that was a lot that came out. Okay, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Look at this, Virgo. Oh, you guys are in love. Oh, you guys are in love. This is your future. Because this person loves you. And this is a past life thing too. Very much so because we had that lover's card. I always look for specific cards to see if this is past life. This is definitely past life. Oh, I love it. Did Look at this. Didn't I just talk about the sun? I literally just said you were their son. They're going through a whole lot of conflict. They're tired. This is the second time this came out. They're exhausted. They're getting tired. They're getting tired of not having you. This person is very arrogant, very egotistical. But see, the thing is, they're learning part of the karmic justice. They're learning. You know, you're not on this planet to think that you're just, you know, have this God complex. You need other people. Okay. This is what they have to understand. And this is what they're learning. Because no matter what you think, this is how they really, truly do feel. And then look at this. Can I make this stuff up, Virgo? They are in love with you. This is a new relationship, a start of the new relationship. And this is the extra card. You see what's about to happen? This cube, isn't this weird that tr this is like travel, but also communication, right? And look at the number it's in, eight. We're in August. This is going to happen. Um, from what I'm hearing, the way the planets are aligning, it's going to start happening around next week. Um, so yeah, I mean, Virgos, this is just, I don't even know. I always put the good card on top, but it's like, I love all of these, but I want to put the cups because even though the sun is the best, I'm the one thing that I love about the cups that is, is that it represents emotion. And, and as Virgos, you guys need to see that, right? You need to see that this person truly do love you. And this, you guys can't let go of each other either. I usually don't go too farther, too further in the deck. But this, but you can't, you can't, um, 
you can't let this person go. It was a lot of heartache here. Like I said before, something else came in between. It doesn't have to be a, uh, it's going to be different for everybody. It doesn't have to be a third party, but it could have been something work, family, whatever. Okay. And one thing that I've said once before is that, again, you cannot expect this person to be on your level, but you love them, right? How do I know? It's right next to your chest. You're not, you're not letting that go, Virgo. Who you fooling? You deep down inside know that this person had to grow up, right? And so that's what's, that's why you're, you're being a little, not as harsh as you can be because you know they needed to grow up. All right, let's go ahead and get the last card here because this is like investment. This is investing, right? This is putting forth the effort. Remember, I said that, look at this three, Virgo. This is like marriage. This is a long, stable relationship. Yes, yes, yes. Commitment. All right, Virgos, let's see what we get with the seven of pentacles. I just said that. This person is not feeling this person this person is not feeling they were they're feeling left out. They're feeling like there's this this is it's a huge obstacle in order to get you, but they're willing to tr you know make that trek. They really are. They're willing to do what they have to do in order to be with you. Now, I have here, you guys have not been talking here with the, um, with the high priestess. And you guys are also very wise. You know how they are and you're acting accordingly. You're holding on to them and they're holding on to you, but there's a lot of confusion. And this person, this person's life is almost like a mess because it's, they have so much stuff going on. You, it, I don't feel like this is you. You've invested because remember, we are going to have double meanings all the time, no matter what card. But here I see that you've invested, but this person is, this person has some money. But because they have a lot of responsibility, a lot of responsibility, it's, that's also taking care of taking, you know, the reason for the slowness here. But look at how many times the universe is telling you they're on their way fast. They're coming. Yeah, but this person has a lot of responsibility. But you are very wise, Virgo. Very, very wise. So I said I was going to go ahead and do a Moonology. And I want to go ahead and get that before we end, Virgos. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. Let's get let's get about two cards for for you Virgo. Two cards for Virgo. Two cards for collective Virgo. One more. Two cards for the collective of Virgo. I'm being called to do it one more time. All right. Let's see what we have. Two cards. I'm going to put them down on the deck. One, two. Okay. First card. It's time to release negative energy. Oh, Virgo. That was the beginning of the read. I didn't even put a card out yet. And I'm not saying that because I'm a Virgo. I haven't been really thinking too negative re recently, but I know how I am. But I sense this a lot. You guys could possibly be dealing with a Scorpio here, a water sign. Release that negative energy. And I believe this person is going to have to release this negative energy. Both of you guys. A time for healing. So remember, I didn't see too much of the reason why in this car, in this deck, but we did see that three of swords. We're going to focus on the positive, And I've noticed that the universe has been kind of putting me towards that. You guys are not dealing with that heartache anymore. And it's time for us not to be focusing on that. If this is the person that you want to be with. 
So it's coming around, but healing, remember, came out with what? With the sun card. Isn't tarot amazing? But what's going to heal you? Togetherness, family, a unit. That's what's going to heal you, Virgo. That is what's going to heal you. So Virgo, thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. Please like and subscribe. And please look at this read, guys. Look at this read. Enjoy every bit of it. I will see you guys back again in mid in the mid month because I have to start all over again. But thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye.